Let's take a look at the Goal Seek option, which is part of the data what if analysis in Excel. I'm using 2016. It is in many of the prior versions. So here's a basic model. Uh, this is an outsourcing decision. So the yellow box up here are the values we'll put into the model. We know our fixed costs are $50,000. Our variable cost per unit are $125. If we decide rather than making them ourselves that we'll outsource, we'll purchase the units, the purchase cost per unit is $175 and our quantity required is 1,500 units. So these values up here are all items that we enter. Down here are our calculations. The total manufactured cost is simply the fixed cost of 50,000 plus the variable cost times the quantity required. The total purchased cost is the quantity required times the purchase cost of $175. And what we're trying to do is see under which quantity scenarios it's best to manufacture and when it's best to outsource them. So the cost difference equation is simply the difference between the two. And we have a, an if statement embedded here to test. And when this value becomes less than zero, it chooses manufacture. If it's greater than zero, then it displays outsource. It's just an if statement. So when we use Goal Seek, it's a little different than the other what if analysis tools because what Goal Seek does, and I'm going to select it over here, is that it looks at our model and says, okay, what is your goal? Well, in this case, our goal is we'd like to find the break-even point. So down here, the cost difference would be zero at the break-even point. So we want to have Excel find the quantity where cost difference is zero. So B19 is cost difference. I want it to find how to get to zero. And by changing what cell, I'm going to have it change the quantity required. So it's going to find out that it's going to identify the quantity where the difference between outsourcing and insourcing is zero. And all you have to do is press OK. And it searched, it came back, and it did find my zero. It, and sure enough, the manufacturing cost and the purchase cost are both 175,000. And the quantity required that it identified was 1,000. So Goal Seek, it works a little backwards from the other two what if analysis that we've looked at, Scenario Manager and Data Table. Because in Scenario Manager and Data Table, we actually provided the input values and then had Excel test those input values in providing different outputs. Goal Seek is the opposite. We tell Excel what goal we want and it identifies what value and it only identify one variable at a time. It'll identify which variable uh, fits that scenario.